Hey guys, it's Jake here with eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at, and I'm going to show you how to use the Yakima Top Grip. What's nice about the Top Grip is it's going to hold the handle of your paddle, your shovel, or your axe, pretty much anything that has a cylindrical handle on it, it's going to fit inside to be able to clamp down and hold it into place. The reason I wanted to show the Top Grip in the configuration we have it now is because there's not going to be a lot of solutions to be able to haul your paddle for your kayak or canoe in a controlled manner. Not a lot of vehicles are big enough on the inside to be able to stick this big long paddle inside without getting in your way. So by putting it on your roof rack, you're gonna be able to put your paddles, if you're carrying two kayaks, you can put two of these kits on the inside of your kayak and before you put your kayaks on, you'll load your paddles up and you'll know that they're safe when headed down the road. The way this paddle carrier is gonna work is it's going to mount to your roof bar. And then when you get your paddle in place like we have here, you'll see you have a nice rubber pad so you're not going to smash or damage your paddle by sticking it in here. And then we'll take our top arm and simply push down to clamp it in place. And then to release it, all you have to do is pull in on these two tabs and then lift it up. One thing I like about this holder is that Yakima made this to not only fit paddles, but they made it to fit a lot of other things that have different diameter handles on them. Here you'll see it in the first click position. That's not going to come open and it has a very large opening there. So you can see you're going to be able to fit a much larger handle in there. And if you're using it for a paddle, you're going to have several clicks before it'll lock fully into place. So you know that you're not gonna have to worry about your paddle going anywhere because it's safely secured. Something that Yakima added to add an extra safety feature to the top grip is that you can replace these plastic lock cores with locking lock cores that will be key to like to both of your top grip brackets. This is gonna keep your top grip locked to your roof rack and your paddle safely secured in your top crib. Now that we've gone over some of those features, let's go ahead and show you how easy it is to get in place. To get our top grip in place, we need to first start by removing our end cap of our roof bar. Set that to the side. And here you'll see that we are going to insert our top grip in our T-track. So we're going to need to lift out this rubber piece. Now today we're just going to be lifting it out and keeping it out to the side. If you are leaving these in permanently or you're going to be using them frequently, you can take this piece and cut it to length so that your top grip is sitting in here somewhere and then your rubber strip is filled back in on the end. Now we're gonna take a lock washer and a flat washer with our shorter bolt. You'll have two sets of bolts. Insert it in there until you see it come out the bottom and then take a flat plate that you also have included in your kit and thread it onto the bottom. Thread it just a few times to get it started. Now what we can do is take it and slide it in to our T-Track. Slide it into place. This is where you're gonna to wanna to decide where you want it placed on your crossbar. We're gonna have ours towards the outer edge because we're not going to have but one kayak on our roof. And then we'll take our included Allen wrench and tighten down that bolt. That tightened down, we can take our end cap and replace it. What's nice about this kit is they give you options. They give you the option of using a T-Track like we did. I just like the cleaner look of using a T-Track accessory. It gets it incorporated with the bar and you don't have to worry about anything interfering. You will also have in your kit an adapter for aero bars and for round bars. Now for these specific aero bars that we have, they're a little bit thicker, so this aero bar adapter did not work for us. But if it does for you, it does provide still a pretty clean look. I just like the looks of it in the T-Track better. To get your paddle in place, put it inside the rack and close down the latches. With that being said, that's going to do it for our look and installation of the Yakima Top Grip. 